So that's it for Hour of Code 2023. You've now successfully completed your own native mobile application. You can download this and you can share it with your friends and you can try it out on your own devices. But if you want, the learning doesn't have to end here. The final thing we're going to leave you with is a challenge. So on this screen, you've now probably noticed a, a third button here. Um, this little sun, when we click on it, um, it changes everything into dark mode, like so. Um, so we can go to one of the other screens. They're all in different um, colors as well. And it also changes the home screen uh, like that. Uh, and this is a little exercise for yourselves to try out um, in your in your own time just to recap then what we've done we've created screens we've worked with images and buttons we have used the text input component uh, the list viewer component and the data viewer component here we've worked with data sources we've behind the scenes then we've worked with variables uh, and a variety of other um, you know uh, concepts here like events uh, and functions so what I'm going to leave you with is just one quick suggestion on how you might go about uh, changing this the light mode and dark mode in your um, app. So here's our splash screen button here. Uh, we're going to add in a new button like this. And here in the block section, when our button is clicked, uh, a very simple thing to do would be just to change the background picture. What we can do then is change this background picture here to navy1.png. Testing it out by clicking the button, you can see that the background color changes. However, we're not able to change it back. Uh, the best thing uh, that we can use um, is a, a what's called a Boolean or um, a logic block. So let's say is a dark uh, mode like this. Let's go ahead and set that to false like this and then what we can do is uh, flip this switch as it were so this is like adding a little toggle or a little switch it's either true or false so there's two possible values uh, and what we want to do is um, flip this when the button is clicked so set the dark mode to what we can do is put in this is the, the easiest way to do it set it to not dark mode like that so if it's true, it changes to false, and if it's false, it goes the other way around. And then um, what we can do is a quick check with our if blocks. So if it's dark mode, we will set it to navy1, and then duplicate this. If it's not dark mode, then we'll set it to our home splash, like so. So clicking the button now alternates back and forth between the two different modes. And so that's just the like getting started. That's the guide to, um, you know, using the, the correct um, block here. So the logic blocks, this is how to flip it uh, from um, one state to another. So going from true to false and the other way around, going from false to true. And then the final thing is the logic. So if it's dark mode, we want all of the dark. So we want the button to be a particular color. We want the background picture to be uh, a particular value and the opposite then is true if it's not dark mode uh, we're going to change it back to a different color so that's your activity that's your exercise there for your own self-study and enjoyment um, but thanks again for participating in this year's hour of code really really appreciate you taking the time hope you've enjoyed learning about the platform and don't forget we have tons and tons of uh, tutorials um, and extra um, resources here, instructional videos, documentation, our Thunkable Academy and our community are great, great places to continue your, your learning journey. Um, so congratulations on finishing the Hour of Code and thanks for thunking.